this is the 2023 Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. We're going to tell you what the cubic feet are in inches today, but to make things a little bit easier, a cubic foot is the size of a basketball. So that means you could fit 24.4 basketballs back here. And what's the difference in cubic feet between this Civic and the sedan version? About 10 cubic feet, roughly. We do have videos on that, so check out the description of the video and I will leave another video linked there for you if you want to check out the cargo capacity in inches on the sedan. One of the challenges of shooting these videos and telling you what the inches in cargo capacity would be is that it's kind of hard to do one-handed. Well, that's okay because I'll just start out by telling you I already measured it. The opening here is going to be 45 inches wide and with the seats in their upright position we are looking at 36 inches in length and again a little bit hard to do this with one hand but if you measure from the floor to the top right here you're looking at 28 inches and while we have 28 inches from the floor to the top right here we're looking at about 21 inches from this area all the way up to what you could bring in if you just went straight in with it obviously you can angle things down so it doesn't really matter as much but what do we have when we maximize cargo capacity? And as far as the overall length into the interior with the seats laid flat, now keep in mind, you can see where I put the top of the, or the tape measure on the top of the seats right there. So there's actually additional space here, but in this case, we're looking at 64 inches, but you could actually get away with a little bit more by pushing whatever you're putting in a little bit further forward. It also will descend, depend on where those two front seats are located as far as how far back or forward they are but there is quite a bit of additional space there. I just didn't measure for it because, well, this is a guarantee that everybody's going to have the same amount from the top of the seats to where the door closes on the rear for the hatch. And again, hard to do one-handed, so you just have to take my word for it or measure it yourself. But with the seats folded flat, you're looking at 28 inches, 28 inches, let's not get tongue twisted there, between what we have right here with the seat and the top right there. So obviously, Probably another five or six inches, I would say, is what you would increase if you went with the seats in the upright position, and it does come out to about five more inches, so you'd be looking at 33 inches. And those are the cargo space measurements in inches. I'm pretty sure that's gonna make it a whole lot easier for most people, as opposed to just the common cubic foot. Tell me down in the comments section if you think that the car industry, the auto industry in general, should drop the cubic foot measurement and go to inches instead. To learn more about the model in today's video, visit the link in the description for a detailed comparison between trims and pricing for the vehicle we featured or any vehicle you may be interested in. These pages feature information such as our recommended trim level based on price, value, and features. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. We look forward to seeing you next time.